Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to this Spongebob Theory channel has hidden lore inside a mind by inside a mind. Now, I have not seen this, but this has been heavily requested by many people on the Alex Bale video. Even Alex Bale himself actually requested this video for me to watch. And it's apparently about Alex Bale and his channel and also just like the hidden lore. And apparently there's also more to it where it goes, this video goes more in depth with the void monster apparently, the, you know, uh, the like thing that's basically giving him the theories, which honestly is very interesting. By the way, if you have not checked out Alex Bale or any of the Spongebob conspiracy theory videos, then definitely go check them out. They're really good, really well made. And yeah, I'm very interested, honestly. I'm very interested in what Alex Bale has going. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, reach in the description, make sure to you inside of mine. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's get right into it. SpongeBob SquarePants is one of the most popular things out there during the internet age. True. And we're gonna make sure he's greeted by his two best friends. Who are they? Us! After appearing on Nickelodeon in 1989, that a good bit. the viewership around it doesn't appear to be slowing down, despite the general consensus that the later episodes aren't as good. So, it's not too surprising yeah, that to is hear true. that Spongebob theories have been picking up a lot of attention oh, film on theory. YouTube. And over the past year, there has been one channel in particular I see the that thumbnail? has been skyrocketing in views based on his Spongebob theories. Spongebob conspiracy? His name is Alex Bale. For those who have watched my channel before will probably recognize that name. Alex is a filmmaker who made a web series called Pizza Time Pizza. Yeah, I actually never watched which is this. A cult slash family cleverly disguised as a pizza restaurant. I made a video on it for those who have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. About. But for a long period of time, it seemed as though Alex had stepped away from web series and was now focusing on spongebob theories william fancyson the third oh yeah his rival from high school band class but i intend to prove that he's a fraud using his wealth to make himself seem more popular and talented than he actually is or at least that's what it appeared on the surface yeah the first two videos seem pretty normal they it's seem normal what you'd expect to see on a theory channel like yeah. the game theorists the first upload focuses on the rivalry of Squilliam and Squidward, while the other talks about the possibility that the whole show is a documentary being filmed by actual humans. The show SpongeBob Wait, okay. What you think it is. There is a secret group of puppet masters who are always watching the citizens of Bikini Yeah, okay. Pulling the strings. The third one is where things really This is where it, yeah. This is not this is where i took a turn and this is actually where it started i skipped the ending bit as well in that because i i thought it was like a promo running from her dark and mysterious but it wasn't but it's finally caught up to her and behind it all is a mastermind who's been secretly controlling her life and psychologically yeah honestly it was a really good theory it was very cool get ready for my biggest conspiracy yet this is the mrs puff theory yeah the video begins just like the previous two but this time following the story of Mrs. Puff, as Alex claims she had a past life we were unaware of. This video took a ton of time and effort to do all the research for, so I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching, and thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this theory. Go to NordVPN. Oh, what? Slash Alex Bale or use code Alex Bale. Oh, yeah. Once we get to the end, yeah. it goes to the third person. Alex is finishing a video and exits to the kitchen. Yeah. Which, this, this part is, like, very interesting. Yeah. And then he gives the meat to the, the thing. Yeah, apparently people call it the Void Monster, I guess. That makes sense. Yeah, and then the bag goes into the... Yeah. And then the theory rolls out. Yeah, and then teaser for the fourth one. It seems as though Alex isn't the one making the theories, he's just the face of the show. 
Yeah, that's such an interesting idea. It's also a twist. This is the result of nuclear radiation. Who is Pearl's mother? Oh yeah, the fourth one was... What is the it was a ton of questions answered in that one. These are by far the three biggest questions in the show Spongebob Squarepants. And today, I'm going to be answering all three of them and more with just one theory. Get ready for the darkest Spongebob conspiracy you'll ever see. This is The Evolution Theory. Yeah, I remember that. We're back with another Spongebob ba, ba, conspiracy. Ba, ba, I guess I'm ba, the Spongebob ba, ba, guy ba, ba, now. That's, that's all I make. You guys sure love these Spongebob yeah. theories. Yeah, and know, then I this is where it like, videos, right? actually I, I make films showed. And stuff too. Anyone want to watch those? The next theory opens with Alex thanking his audience for the success of these theories. Oh yeah, Although he that points guy. out that these Spongebob videos aren't his main passion. He also makes short films and uploads them directly to the same channel, yet the views are significantly lower. Well, already then, that's the end of that theory. Just gonna end it here before there's- Oh, and then this is the end twists. segment, too? You guys too? have been insanely supportive with these Spongebob theories, so I guess I have to make more. I've been your host, Alex Bale. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it cuts to the end. After the theory comes to a close, Alex decides to negotiate with the creature within his home. His theories get the most attention, but he doesn't want to be known as the SpongeBob guy. He wants to be known as a filmmaker. Yeah, that's interesting. But how do you do that when the theories are getting a hundred times more the attention of the projects you actually enjoy making? Hey, yeah, so that's just all about the message. I, uh, and I kind of already said that already. It was just about that. It was literally, it is always, it still is. Like, that's the message. Uh, it's, it's which is you, actually really I mean, awesome. The videos are great. People, people love them. It's just, I think I want to go back to making actual films for a bit. Yeah, and then he, I think he's not there for this one. No, he is. Yeah. Yeah, so the main reason why I think the Void Monster might be like an amalgamation of all the characters. He sounds like Patrick. And then also there's like the ink thing with like the squid tentacle. So I'm like, oh, maybe it is like an amalgamation. Or something. Maybe. I don't know. Just, you know, I don't, I don't want to really make these videos forever. You know, I don't want to be known as the, the SpongeBob guy. Yeah, so I'm wondering what like the final theory would be, like the end of this like series type thing. My boy, do you really think they will care about your little films? I am your muse. I have given you the gift of knowledge. Go back to anonymity, then be my guest. But I know who you really are. Yeah, that's an interesting line. <laughs> yeah, and then that, that's the Neptune theory. Right? Oh! Wait. Cynical. Dark theory. Knight is a terrible, terrible movie. Hello, I'm the Cynical Critic, and today we're going to be talking about Christopher Nolan's masterpiece, what? The Dark Knight. Listen, I know you're supposed to respect the dead or whatever, but his performance is just not good. It's really bad. I mean, compare this performance to Jared Leto, and Jared Leto hasn't beat. It, it just, it's not even a contest, guys. Not too long after this video, a channel appeared online known as The Cynical Critic, ripping into critically acclaimed movies such as Parasite and The Dark Knight. Parasite. Yeah. It's an objectively terrible movie. Hello everyone, oh, okay. this is The Cynical Critic, and today we're gonna be talking about Bong Joon-ho's Parasite. This film has to be at the top of the list when it comes to most overhyped films ever. The Parasite video went viral on Twitter, filling his comments with furious users claiming he missed the point. 
One particular comment went viral on Reddit, where it appeared the critic had forgotten to log out of his main account and replied oh, yeah, to someone I did as see if this. they were just a fan of the critic. While everyone was hopping on to laugh at how ridiculous this man's opinions were and his attempt to handle criticism, it didn't cross any of their minds that this may have been a little too good to be true. In the Dark Knight video, the door behind him slowly opens more and more throughout the video, as if someone is on the other side oh. watching. A missing poster can also be found in the background, which almost looks identical to the missing posters from Alex Bale's Pizza Time Pizza series. On top of that, oh, what? the video opens with SpongeBob music playing in the background. I mean, the literal first shot of the movie. I mean, the Joker just standing around. Okay. Around. You don't think anyone would recognize him? Just standing. So there's like parallels. No that's interesting. And that's just the beginning. Everything else involving the Joker's plan just doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, the doors open. Plus, when the cynical critic plays a supposed stock video while describing someone, he instead uses a video of Alex Bale. Black and white. Really? Does not make something automatically more artistic or better. You know who makes black and white films for the sake of? A high schooler making a short film. This channel is very clearly fake. Yeah. It's actually part of Alex Bale's SpongeBob theory story. Really? Really? Oh, I did not know that. That's interesting. Hello, everyone. I am the Cynical Critic, and today we're going to be responding to hate comments. This has to be a troll, lol. Still can't believe he forgot to swap accounts. Okay, I don't know what that second part's Yeah, why is Alex Vale's uh, video recommended? Circus. Your review is garbage. No one will agree with you. Ah, inside of mine says you're a genius. Thank you. I know. Oh, what? The video was released after an onslaught of hate, where the critic decides to respond to criticism he received. But just before he hops onto the video, we see a bunch of unlisted reviews that seem to be a lot more positive. So what changed? Why has he suddenly began oh. attacking these movies? Well, just a little bit before we see the unlisted videos, we also get a brief shot of his emails, and from bottom to top, tells a story of how he became the cynical critic. He started this channel with a friend called Anthony. Both of them oh. seem to be really passionate about TV and film, and that's why they created this channel. But that all changed after he received an email claiming his mother will no longer be insured for medical treatment. Straight after his email is when the critic began making more cynical reviews. Oh, okay. Because at the end of the day, negativity is what gets attention on that's Reddit. true Reddit and Twitter pretty much that's true that by how many views they that's so true less than 24 hours honestly that is true it's positive reviews after the first truly cynical review which is now for some reason unlisted Mark receives an email from Anthony who expresses his disappointment in Mark for making such a clickbaity title oh he didn't make this channel just to get views it was supposed to be a passion project a place where they could both talk about movies. Yeah. But obviously, things change when you realize you have to make money in order to survive. That's and so true, possible. dude. It's possibly to save his own mother's life. Honestly, and that's such... Happens. Yeah. Because it's the that biggest flaw. It's the biggest flaw with YouTube, honestly. It's like the biggest flaw of being a content creator. Are going to move right along to the dark night the critic pauses after reading this comment something seems to have spooked him searching up the account reveals a youtube channel uploading videos about sonk the blue rat a knockoff version of sonic the hedgehog but it appears there's a little more to it what oh what hey kids it's me sonk the blue rat do you want to be my friend what? That's oh! Great. I love my friends. Today, we're gonna learn about the difference between a good friend and a bad friend. Oh a good no! Friend is someone who supports you no matter what. Look at this friend here. He's a good friend. He give me a flower. That's a good friend. <laughs> uh oh! Look at this. This is a bad friend. He only cares about himself. He doesn't care about what you want. He doesn't care about what you need. That's a bad friend. And bad 
went into the bad place. Oh, what? Oh. What? Oh, they have like names on them, don't they? It's like Mark, right? Missing. That's okay. He deserved it. That's all we have to learn. There was a missing poster. I'm guessing that's related to the pizza thing. Interesting. It appears this video is almost like a metaphor of what happened with Anthony and Mark. Yeah. As Sonk talks about a good friend who seems to be Mark and then refers to a bad friend that doesn't support him and how the bad friends go to the bad place. Yeah. The second video seems to be referring to Mark's mother, almost as if they're reminding him that if something happens to her, it's all his fault. Oh, really? Hey, Ooh, that's interesting. The blue rat. That's, that's very blue interesting. Today. Like, it's honestly very deep and kind of dark, but like, dang. The amount of effort that's being put into this theory. this at all no like sonic exe yeah what she'll be better no time it's like sonic exe or like e yeah it's like what what oh no way okay well you tried Hey everyone, I'm the one and only Cynical Critic, and today we're going to be talking about Alex Bale's horror short film, Late Night Snack. Alex Bale is a popular YouTuber. Yeah, that got uploaded after a theory honestly, video. Makes really great SpongeBob Theory videos online. Cynic comes back after a few days to review another film, this time a horror short on YouTube uploaded by Alex Bale. He goes on to criticize how badly it was put together, but yet can't wait to talk about how amazing his SpongeBob theory Yeah, that's Alex, interesting. Go back too. to making SpongeBob theory videos. No one wants to see your awful horror film. Yeah, I think he used that in one of his uh, videos. And that's only because it was a one of his theory movie. videos, too. I'd probably give it less if I was comparing it to any big budget movie. If you want to help out, leave a comment telling him how bad his films are so we can get back to making Spongebob Theory videos. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified for new videos. I've been your host, the one and only Cynical Critic, and remember to stay cynical. See you later. Okay. It seems as though this isn't Cynic speaking. Someone else may be telling him to do this. Isn't it a bit of a coincidence that the second Alex explains how he wants to stop making theory videos, suddenly a cynical critic appears out of nowhere and begins ripping his latest short film and praising only the Spongebob theories? Is yeah. it possible that the creature in Alex's garage has more influence than we thought? Ooh, in this uh, video, maybe. there appears to be a mysterious black goo leaking from the vent, similar to what we will see in the next oh Spongebob really theory. yeah the neptune theory that was probably nothing yeah there's no tension the pacing is slow yeah it fundamentally failed as a film alex go back to making spun that's where he used it, it. No one wants to see your awful horror film. I've been your host, the one and only cynical critic, and remember to stay cynical. Yeah, so I think I did kind of assume that was a parody. I don't know, did I? 
Did I actually say that was like a parody type thing? And we're back. What's up? I'm your host, Alex, the SpongeBob guy, back with another SpongeBob conspiracy. I've said it before, but the overwhelming proportion of videos... It appears the influence of Alex's muse has worked. The hatred sent to his short film from Cynical Critic destroyed any passion Alex had left. He's been convinced that no one cares about his work. Yeah. So, if you can't beat them, join them. <sighs> Okay, that's uh, it's another one done. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Alex. We've got more on the way. I'll see you next time. Hey, listen, that, that theory was awesome. You know, I don't know how you keep coming up with these, but, I mean, they're great. Yeah, and then he's gone. He's not there. And, and listen, you were, you were totally right, you know? The people want Spongebob theory, so who am I to ignore them? So, yeah, also, does it, like, his shirt with the Spongebob stuff. Uh, hello? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I remember this. I do remember this. I feel like a lot of this video has been, like, showcasing other videos to, like, prove... Yeah, to prove, like, the points, I guess. So that's interesting. There's actually, like, more to the dark... Void monster, or whatever, as people call it. Yeah. So then he tries to make the six one. And then black ink. Yeah. So this is, yeah, like the ink. So that's the ink, yeah. And then. Yeah, and then also you would like stick to walls. Okay. The credits roll and Alex's name has been removed. Replaced yeah, that's what I thought was interesting guy. too. So what exactly is this creature? Why does it have so much power and influence over people? Why does it hide in the shadows? Well, users over on Alex Bale's Discord server may have figured something out. They made a Google Doc documenting the events that unfold every few weeks, and they discovered a post on Reddit talking about a company called Happy Meat Farms. Yeah! Which led to a YouTube video and a website about a company that specializes in farming and breeding animals for meat. Yeah, this was a sponsor, wasn't it? I skipped past it because I thought it was just like a normal sponsor. But people in the comments told me that it's actually not. Welcome to Happy like it actually Farms, isn't. Where we believe in a which is interesting. Future. There's nothing better than a delicious prime rib steak or a steamy chicken cooked to perfection. But do you really know where you're getting your meat? Nowadays, there's so many factory farms that cram hundreds of animals into tight, unlivable spaces. And most animals are being genetically modified to produce as much meat as possible, but at the cost of giving the animals a painful life. After seeing the horrors of the meat industry, we founded Happy Meat Farms in 1998 with one goal in mind, finding a more humane solution to farming. And that solution was to raise these animals the same way they're raised in nature, the way God intended. Our animals yeah. spend their days in wide open fields outside, where they're able to roam and be free. We raise our animals 100% naturally, with no GMOs or chemicals added. We believe that the best meat comes from the happiest animals, even if that means giving up profits. By the trusted hands at Happy Meat Farms, a company that you can trust. 
Yeah, so isn't like Happy kind of Meat fake? Farms also has the same initials of a company we've been seeing in the background of several other videos across all YouTube channels that are involved in this. Story. Oh. Plus, when you visit the website, there's an image of a cow in the background that briefly has the word Muse painted on the side. It becomes even more disturbing what? when you watch the YouTube video. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So are these like a uh... Yeah, I don't know what this is, so I guess it's just weird. Yeah. I might have to, like, it censor these. the company are experimenting with the animals on the farm, and one of the subjects in particular is called MO101. Its current status? Missing. Oh! No, 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 no. Recommendation Find it. In ooh, ooh. Seems as though we're That's... getting a little origin story yep. of where our muse came from. That's so creepy. But that is all we have. Dang. So far. The muse appears to be in control of several other people. Alex is now in the work. So of I kind of uh, I was kind of wrong. No longer have to worry about non So I guess I was wrong. I mean, it's technically channel. like an amalgamation, That's but great. not of the characters. Right? So yeah, honestly, this was a interesting video, I'd say. It, it was very interesting. I like how it goes more in depth of like all of the stuff that's been going on because i actually didn't know i didn't know there was like all this other stuff that's like been put into this where it's like oh you have like a fake sponsorship and then you also have like a sort of what what do you call it like a second channel yeah where yeah you have like a second channel that also like correlates with other things that alex bale has made like i did not know that that's actually kind of interesting honestly it, it is very cool i, I like it but uh, yeah, anyways, guys, if you guys enjoy the like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!